Uh, this is my final outcome of 2020 computer engineering project. Um, I did it by uh, this. Uh, let me introduce some basic information about this project. This this project is uh, mostly concerned with classical planning and uh, driving PDDL models for automated log logistics warehouse and uh, courses and all the outcomes and presentations will be held uh, will be preceded in in only in english the project was uh pro projects was conducted between uh september to the end of the november and it is almost three months including all the time for 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 assessing proposal proposals and uh, research uh, studying related areas as well and I did it this project was did, did by my own did only by myself and I have no additional team members <clears throat> so the basically the goal is to dr drive a PDDL mo model for uh, some automated warehouse logistics warehouse where, where there are multiple robots and they move together to to move the different size of packages from supply queue to the terminal points. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna introduce you some step-by-step -step improvements on my PDDL model with a uh, with certain point of concerns. <clears throat> so this is the first very simple model and this model was designed to to make make the first um, traditional PDDL model and find out what we should do more, what I should do more to uh, improve improve and finalize the goals. I mean the final and to achieve the objectives I designed. So basically, there are seven points, and they are the the edge edge cost is all th all the same, and all the edge is connected. Uh, conceptually at least and all the packages are to be carried by two robots not not uh, not some and robots and I also assume there are no collisions so this is the basic basic PDDL I've designed and um, <coughs> And this is very simple. I I have some robot packages point, and this will not change until uh, until the end. And some predicates, and necessary uh, necessary elements to describe the current state and goals and initial states. And there are there are basically three actions: move, load, and unload. Mm. So there are some parameters, and you know there. If you see the load and unload part, we have two robots in there because I designed that the packages should be pre carried by two robots at the same time. So this is basically the sample PDL problem I designed. So at the, we have five robots here, seven points including supply and terminal points, and three packages. So at it so. Uh, at at initial initial uh, initially there are the five robots are at certain points they are all free, and the packages are waiting at only one and only only point to supply. The goal is to get all the packages. Oh, this is this should be B. Uh, all packages to uh, arrive at the des de designated uh, terminal point. So the plan can be uh, described in this. This kind of array-like manner, but there are certain limitations that, uh, for some some actions should should be, uh, should be a, should be done simultaneously. As, uh, for example, when two robots are moving together, uh, they their move should be done simultaneously otherwise they will drop the package because they were they are holding the same package when they loaded the package at the supply point and there are no uh, no expression about time and the distance and we, the, we are only limit uh, confined to two and two robust packages so we need some more numerical values to 
<coughs> numerical expressions to overcome this problem. And there are there may be some unnecessary actions like um, moving from one point to another uh, endlessly. So the first improvement I made is the multi-agent improvement. From now on, the the changes will be uh, described it with uh, other colors. So so you it'll, it'll be more uh, you can distinguish from uh, other parts with no changes. So the basically the model is same, but I had to add another predicate named clap and to make a concurrent condition to the actions you know when they move and they when they load they need uh, they are they should uh, coerce other robots to do the same thing so the condition is basically same uh, they are free and they are collaborating with other bots the the bots should also do the same uh, same action. This uh, this looks like very, this looks like a, a recursive function and maybe implemented in recursive way. If we uh, design a soft software when we design when we develop a soft software um, based on this PDDL model. So also there are effect that the collaboration is established or uh, released relieved. So the problem is basically same, but the plan looks different because now we have five robots and they have they they have they have own plans and this their their five plans are all together form a joint plan that uh that can that that certain uh that certain pair of robots can do that do the action simultaneously. So look at this. There are, there can be some no operation points. And you know, move if you know the robot A and robot B had loaded the package together, so they have to move together. And then they also have to unload together. And then I have uh, find out that the the point and no distance model is no no longer valid. So I have to drive my own PDDL uh, PDD, PDDL expressions as, as well as some good insights, uh, adopting some good insights from PDDL 2.1. So the environment has changed. Uh, I am now using grid points uh, and the package can be, uh, I mean should be moved by certain sub certain number of robots. So, so this adjustment should, be, should also be uh, applied to the PDDL either. So there are some uh, assumptions changed, and I use some functions for f functions to express numerical values, and I adopted some array expressions for the parameters, uh, parameters of same kind, but when there are where multiple entities are needed, and I also use loop, span, uh, span loop and span expressions. I actually I don't know. I'm not sure this. This exists in another in official PDDM form, but uh, this will uh, make make the make PDDM look much in concise way, because I do not have to list all the things I'm trying to uh, express. It can be hundreds and thousands. So, okay. So there are some numerical values: weight, x, y coordinates. And how many bots are on that coordinate at this time? Zero to some numerical values, natural number values, and order. So because the the supply point is now queued, and the package will be come out in order. So basically, the predicates, the points are now changed into co coordinates. And look at this duty. Uh, you know, multiple robot robots are doing the duty, conducting the duty together. So, and there are we are not sure how many are there. So, uh, we are we are making into a robot and uh, into our array of robots, and yeah, it it will work. And you know, this pink expression shows that the robots can now only move to the adjacent, uh, adjacent uh, point point. 
and this this expression basically shows that uh, the from and to points should be only uh, only far away from each other by unit of one. And look at this. And uh, I use the loop to express that to load the package, all the robots should be f at the point and free at the time, and all the packages should be waiting at the time. And the package and look at this. The package, uh, the the first element of the package array should have the num uh, uh the order value of one. And the number of uh, the number of bots at the time should be should be more than the weight of the pack the first el first element of the package. So that so that only uh, yep. Uh, so this this is basically a mistake. This should be actually equal, equal. Yep. So, uh. And the effect is that, uh, you know, the, the span expressions make all the robots and the, and the element to collaborate together and do ha and conduct a duty with the the first element of the package. And the other packages have sh should be assigned with a new new order, uh, new order, order order, and it should be then the amount minus one. And unloading, unloading is also similar. So if you look at this, the problem has changed. So uh, we I have to assign the, some certain random values or corresponding values to the uh, uh, to to the functions, uh, functions numerical values of uh, it, its variables and its objects. I mean. And uh, and finally, I have come up with contingency handling. Um, so there may be probabilistic collisions at at some certain points where both robots are together. So in that case, the robot might 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 fail, and the the point should be blocked, that no other uh, robots should come uh, come and make make the accident even even bigger. Uh, and they should uh, after they collide there should be human inter intervention to handle the problem the human will come come to the point and replace the robots uh, in four unit time at least um, in maximum four unit time so I just I just uh, yeah, set the the time needed to be four and they, that's why I used and I added the fixed cooldown Feature uh, functions, and there are there are there is some changes in PDDL uh, PDDL. So to express the prob prob probabilistic uh, uh, occasions, I use this random uh, uh, random ex random uh, syntax to so if this random syntax uh, is the value of the gener randomly generated number between zero and one exceed the number of n. Uh, the pred true should happen, and in otherwise the pred false will happen. And I also uh, used um, added some conditional effects as well uh, using if and else uh, about the conditions, and this should be applied to the the actual software. So this if each phrase uh, shows what shows there can be uh, collisions in the con collisions if some th there are some other bot in other bot at the uh, at the fr front point and there is an action fix to show that uh, sh 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 to to reduce the cooldown and finally uh, handle the issue. Thank you for listening.